Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Point of inquiry to the President. Um, in the uh, Senate Education Committee, we have um, a total, I think, of eight bills, um, some including the increasing teacher school service, uh, service personnel salaries, uh, increasing basic foundational allowance for county professional student support personnel, authorizing competitive grant program for vocational technical education programs in middle schools, restoring local public school flexibility, modifying school aid formula, relating to studies of certain issues affecting public education, and relating generally to high quality education. My inquiry, Mr. President, is if we're going to be meeting in education, Senate education today, to take up those bills. In response to the senator's inquiry, the, uh, there are no planned education meetings today. So, uh, Mr. President, my question is then: Is then this why, another point of inquiry? It is. Okay. That's part of being a question. Uh, inquiry. I, I'm not on the stand, Senator, but you may state your question. Yes, sir. Um, so the idea is that we took up education, two education bills that were yours. My question is: Is why are we not being more democratic? in the sense, um, particularly because you say we, you want to be bipartisan, while we're not looking at these other bills, and we have the rest of the day, we could be working on these very good bills, get them down here, and also get them moving, because, you know, we, we have plenty of time to do that. So my inquiry is, why are we only taking up your bills and not even considering others that are Introduced. In response to the Senator's inquiry, there will be no education meeting today. Many of the bills that are put forth from this agenda that you mentioned are incorporated into the Student Success Act. Well, are, Mr. President, I further, beg to say that that's not well, true. Well, I'm not debating, and I'm, I'm answering but, questions as to points of order. Okay, well, Do you have another point of order? Okay, that's very unfortunate, Mr. President. Thank you. 